What up, YouTube? It's your boy RDS and let's go. I guess Gracie here. She wants to be part of this action, you know what I'm saying? So like every time I start doing reactions, she makes her way over here. That's my cat. So Michael Jackson, Thriller, 40th official trailer, 40 years, 40 years. Damn. I'm gonna say what I gotta say about Michael Jackson after we get through with this trailer. Cause I'm excited y'all. I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan and will continue to be a huge Michael Jackson fan. No one would change that. Regardless of how they try to portray him now. But we are gonna get to all that after this trailer. So without further ado, let's go. Hmm. That's dude. Y'all remember him from uh, that cop show? A lot of people forgot that he was in a thriller. Um, well, not no, it wasn't thriller. It was Beat It, I believe. It was one of them. I know he he got real famous on that cop show. It was him and a uh, black police officer. I forgot the name of it, but it was a hot show. Everyone was watching that shit. All right, let's go, y'all. There are two things in the music business, before Thriller and after Thriller. Thriller set the standard of what it was to be a megastar. I should have known they was going to have Usher on here. I wonder if they're going to have uh, Chris Brown. Michael had such a clear vision of what he wanted. He was determined to change the way he was perceived. I came in angry. He was a perfectionist. I wanted the best. And look in the mirror. And I'd say the biggest selling album of all time. The greatest thing is do what the music tells them to do. Everybody waiting to see the next big Michael Jackson album. As a matter of fact, I asked what mama say, mama saw, mama kusa mm -hmm. meant. Oh, and it don't mean nothing, just sing it. He had the ambition to become the biggest star in the world, and he did it. You could feel the excitement in the room knowing that we were doing something special. There was a sense of culture. It felt like he's rocking with us. We can dance to his music. He saw value in street culture. Popping, locking. No one had ever put those elements together. Nobody's seen the moonwalk coming. He just... You know the crazy thing about the moonwalk? He didn't invent the moonwalk. It was out way before. He just put it on the map. For real, they were moonwalking way before Michael Jackson, like in the uh, early to mid 70s they were moonwalking when they were doing all the pop locking and shit but Mike just put it on the map he made it to where everyone wanted to learn how to do that shit it's laid a bomb on that room Billy Jean stepping on the pavement it was about making the magic like a musical damn near. He wanted to go out and tour for Thriller, but Joseph Jackson had other ideas. It's the ultimate blueprint to modern pop music. It's probably everything that I ever loved in one. Michael's gone from being a pop star to a phenomenon. If Thriller came out today, it would still be the greatest album ever made. Yeah, of course. cannot wait for real i cannot wait you know it's crazy so he was gonna do a thriller tour but joe jackson decided to pull the plug on it wow interesting i remember the document where the movie and he was a motherfucker you know everyone talks so bad about this man yeah he was hard on the jacksons he was damn hard but look what it got him. 
compared to how easy these parents are on their kids today and look at these kids running around just doing anything they want acting the way they want talking any way they want disrespecting people you know back then that's how parents were you know you had loving parents who weren't like that but sometimes kids just needed that the jacksons probably didn't need it but we don't know what went on behind closed doors we don't know if them the motherfuckers were bad bad y'all get it but uh yeah, Joe was a motherfucker. He he was he was hard, but he was a good dad. He was a damn good dad. And I I don't condone in it and like certain things, certain tactics and things that he were doing and throwing at the Jacksons. Yeah, that was a little bit over the top. It was. But like I say, look where he got him. Look where he got Michael Jackson. Look where he got the rest of the Jacksons. Look where he got Janet, Latoya, Reeby. You know, they all are famous because of that man stuck with it. He didn't let the outside life, you know, get involved in what he foreseen, you know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, it is what it is. And as far as Michael Jackson, the way they portray him now to be this, you know, this pedophile, this, you know, the way he talked, people like mimic his talking and shit, his voice and all that shit. Like, get over it, man. Stop trying to diminish this man's legacy. He's going to always go down. He's just not the king of pop to me. He's the king of music. To this day, they, they are still have not broke the Thriller album sales. To this day. And I don't see no one breaking that. No one. Stop with the Drake comparisons, by the way. Drake would never even come close to breaking that record. And y'all keep forgetting back then... You had to actually go out and buy the album. You can download shit. So that right there will let you know how powerful, how demanding that song was as far as people who wanted to buy it. You had to literally go out and go buy that album. You cannot download like you can do now all over around where you could just easily tap a button and boom you bought it no you had to literally go in the store and buy the shit so if thriller came out today oh my god Woo! i don't even know how much it is now as far as uh what the album sells now is as far as thriller but i think the closest album is it, is it the celine dion album or uh i know either celine dion uh whitney houston there's a couple of artists out there that came close like close but they still not even there as far as breaking the out al the uh thriller album sales record i don't think it's never gonna happen I mean, you could combine all the years and try it that way and see if it would come close to a Thriller album record sale, but I don't think I don't think it'll never be surpassed. You just would never see nothing like that again. I mean, I was young when Thriller came out, really young, but I remember it so, man, it was so... I remember being on my grandma's back porch on Waller in Chicago and I heard that Thriller song for the first time and it just blew me away I remember hearing it a lot when we stayed on Augusta and Mike just imagine when you four, five, six years old and you was so like I mean I don't really know how what to say because you were a kid so you don't know what you're feeling at that time. But you knew who the fuck Michael Jackson was. Everyone. You know, the jacket always wanted that fucking jacket. I'm not going to give up until y'all see that jacket in his background here one day. I'm going to find out where I can get that. A legit jacket, not one of them fake motherfuckers. I want the real one. I'm going to get it sooner or later. It's going to happen. Oh, man. I cannot wait for this to come out, y'all. I'm excited. I cannot wait. I'm going to be glued to the screen when this shit is on. Glue. And I know Usher's going to be on there a lot. 
uh, between Usher and Chris Brown. I don't know who's the biggest Michael Jackson fan between those two. Because you can tell just by the way they dance, by the way they sing, by the way they like their movements. It's all based off Michael Jackson. They got that shit from Michael Jackson. The mannerisms, all that shit, it's from Mike. And he has touched a lot, even Genuine. Like, a lot of people, if you watch the old Genuine back in the day, you can tell a little bit from Michael Jackson. Akon, a little bit from Michael Jackson. A lot of these motherfuckers got their shit from Mike. This man will always stand in tennis, you know? He will always be, like, here. And the other motherfuckers out there. Just like Elvis, Elvis and Mike is up here. Everyone else is down here. You got some motherfuckers on this level here, then everyone else is down, down, down. That's just how I look at it. That's how, you know, everyone else, I'm sure, looks at it. Mike is the man. Regardless of his personal issues, people accusing this man, I will always go down as a Michael Jackson fan. No one would ever change that. Mike is the man. He will forever be the man. So hit me up in the comments and let me know if y'all ready for this. You ready for this explosion? You can, you mean, you'll never get tired of hearing about Mike. Like you said, you have watched, people have watched the documentaries about the Jacksons, about Michael Jackson. Watched all his videos, you know, the war shows, but you just never get tired of it. The same way with Elvis. You just never get tired of those two. Two kings gone. And ain't never been anyone like them two ever since. It, first it was Elvis, then it was Mike. That's it. That's all you got. I'm out of here.